Hey guys, Danny Dan. We're going to do a quick hit on Sashana here. Um, get as close as possible. Base. And attack. And we'll scout it. Reports. So I should clean that in one hit. Go to the old buck marks. Come on, load it, load it. And let's hit this guy. There's a little bit there. As soon as we hit, we will get rid of that. That's annoying. Special bubble. Boom. Two quick hits just like that. And let's see how we did. So a little food. No troops, that's a bummer. And what we got here. Again, no troops, but some resources, so okay. And I guess that's all I got for right now. Um, the other thing I will say is as far as the uh, <coughs> research goes, you see we're down to 813k gold. Just not good. We're stocking up on speed ups as much as possible, so on and so forth. But we are going to cash in all this gold. So there's like 1.7. Here's 59, so basically 16 million. There's another, however that is, uh, 1.7. Don't care about that little crap. Oh, here, this is the big one. Um, so what we're going to have to do is um, go goblin hunting again. Uh, because once I tap into this, then I typically go out and try to find goblins. Which is pretty much just in time for kill event um, so that's what we're gonna do so I will oh well they're not goblin hunting right next to a hive well I did not expect that okay so Gonna keep peeking around and see if we get any more freebies. We'll go ahead and hit that too. So, other than that, let's see what else has been going on. I spent most of the last day at Relics. Um, and other than that, not too much crazy is going on. Um, it was a good day to spend at Relics. I was at work all day, so... Uh, you know, there's a nap pretty much with everybody uh, that matters. And uh, so there was very little risk for being tile hit in a relic. Um, 
You know, it's nice because you can send full marches and they'll sit there forever and ever collecting. So it's a good way to be as long as things are relatively calm on the server for you. I don't think I'm going to find much else here. So I probably will just port to another area, hopefully a little more remote. And uh, begin goblin hunting. But, you know, as you see, let's say that. Oh, I must have doubled that one, so that was cool. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to race that off. And, you know, we're at zero 100k boxes. So um, when we come back next, whatever we have, that will be the result of our goblin hunting. And hopefully we'll pick up, like, another, you know, 15, 20 million or whatever over the weekend and uh, get some stuff done, do a little PvP farming, build up some more resources. I do need to get rid of some of this uh, food. So. Hmm. Got tons of resources here, so. Somehow, so probably from relics, so I'm gonna use that up. That way, I can get another level of advanced coordination done. Well, this will give us a couple more speed ups, so we'll use those towards this, and we're getting down there. Um, a little training. No, I must have upgraded Monarch gear probably because um, this is taking about 15 minutes or less to do the same number of troops. I'm at 15 hours even now. That's pretty cool. Um, well, let's definitely do this because I gotta really dent through some of the food here. And we might as well do a full run. Why not? Okay. And these are still the speed ups that I did from way back when, when I first turned K25. Um, I had been waiting to open the other packs till after the update, just in case there's something extra in those. You never know. This should definitely get my food down to. I think my food upkeep is actually 7 million. Got the uh, purple Korean that does that. Show you that real quick. I know some guys, sometimes you guys ask me this stuff later. Um, so, you know, purple Korean. Um, this, uh, oh, does it say what it does? Here. 24% in capacity to warehouse, 8% food upkeep. Some people don't like to have these. They like to have, like, Russians or Japs for attacking or defense. But I think it's a good idea to be able to protect your resources and hold enough. And I think some of the Keep 25 guys that stayed low well on resources because they never need any, now they're wanting these back because, you know, they're going to have to save resources for upgrades. So that'll be interesting. It'll also be interesting to see, because, you know, all these upgrades are going to be more expensive. If they plan on doing any kind of uh, upgraded colors for the subsidies, you know, will they allow you to protect, say, like, up to 10 million resources, 15 million, you know, with a better subsidy or something like, you know, neon green or whatever color they want to make it. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they're going to do that at some point. Okay, so got that, and is everything back? I guess that's the question. Well, it looks like it is, so I am out of here. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, this Green Lantern guy is always unbubbled, so I don't expect much there.
So we'll just random out of here. And let's see what we get if we get any good goblin hunting going on. It's a good idea to look and see where you are. So I know I need to look this way, maybe towards the edge of the map to maybe have a little better luck finding some goblins. Hmm. Um. Damn, there's like not much going on here. Just kind of get a power read on that. We want to find the goblins. Oh, well, we'll take that, right? Uh, 499, 166. Make sure nobody's doing it after it. Off we go. Oh, there's another one right there. Awesome. Rest of these guys. See, these T9s are still good. They still yield some results. No gobs, man. This is kind of disappointing. We'll hit that. Just use some archers and take it out. Um. Yeah, this is not looking too great. Sometimes you get a spot like this where this doesn't yield much. I mean, at least there was some okay bosses nearby, but... Oh, look at that. Looking a spot for all its work. And like I said in the past, this way does uh, use more stamina. It's a little quicker to build speed ups uh, rather than waiting five minutes for every rally. You know, you can send out three, four at a time if you have the troops and quickly build up quite a few speed ups this way. Well, I certainly can't. Oh, there, we found one. Wow. I was going to say, we really can't call this video goblin hunting. I don't think we found a goblin the whole time. Anything else around here? There we go. Bookmark that guy. Oh, the other thing I've been meaning to uh, show you guys. Oh, bookmark that. So now we're finding them. This is cool. I mean, if you get two or three G4s and get any doubles on them, you're doing pretty good. You can rack up like a million gold pretty fast. Um... So the only thing I've been meaning to show is I don't remember when they put this on. 
But, you know, this is obviously the bookmark list. And if you go here, you can do a mass edit of your bookmark list, uh, which I've already kind of wiped most of the top. But uh, you can select all and then check individually. Or you can select all and delete or whatever. So I don't know when they did that, but that's a pretty handy tool. I know I'm constantly like bookmarking things and I look back and I'm like, oh my God, you know, like the maps is full of pointless old bookmarks. So if that's you, that's for you. Okay. Um, getting a little far out now, 300 miles. Now when these come back, I've got two more job runs to send out. I just want to look and see if I was the lucky enough to get any doubles. Man, stingy on the doubles other than that first one. Here's one. Sweet. Oh yeah, we'll take you too, why not? Oh, well we'll leave that. Guess I can bookmark it, what up? I can always delete it later, no problem. This is pretty close too. I mean anything close, I'm just gonna Take, that's the mode I'm in. Now we're obviously going to do those goblins first. They're a priority. And we're going to try to send good generals after those in hopes of getting a double. This guy has one, so we'll do that. She's not going to double, so I will send her after one of these guys. And I think this one that gets back in a minute will be the better general, and so we'll send that one after the G4. I do want to look at this D4 uh, world map. Oh, see, all right, so. Yeah, I wanted to check this area again because um, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then I scan the right parts of this area because it seems to be Pretty hot little area. There's um, quite a few goblins in it. So I think I found another D4 there, which is terrific. Something coming back. I'm going to go to this one. Okay, so that's off. Um, and then I want to see. We'll know now. See, that was a new one, so that's awesome. Now, this one we got returning is that lesser general, so we're going to pop here. When it comes back, we'll use her to hit this. I 
I say lost her general because she's not wearing a cool ring like some of the other ones. It gives extra draw. Although, I guess I forgot she hit. No, oh, I mean, it's not as good, but the others are better, trust me. But I didn't realize she had that up. So that's pretty cool. Just hit something. Let's see. So no double there, and then this one. See, we got a double here. That's awesome. So that's what I'm talking about. We hit. I think we found four fours, and if we double them all, that would be 1.6 million gold, which is great. So that's a great way to exploit doubles to get more gold. You know, send your generals that have better rings, better drop rates. I think that's all for this area, guys. So, we had a couple quick hits. We did a little bit of goblin hunting. And you can see what the weekend's in store. Because, like I said, we're getting low on gold. We're going to go out there and find some more. Keep this research going. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you have millions of troops. Your research sucks. And you might as well not have 100 troops. So, that's what we're doing. And I will see you next time. Take care.